Hello and welcome to Chendu.org. This is a video in our advanced puppet pivot tables tricks series. In this video, we will be talking about conditional formatting for pivots. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we will be using our data model driven pivot table workbook. Uh, just a quick reminder, you can download the sample file and access the resources for all the videos in this series from the description of this video. Let's get into the file here. Uh, um, this file doesn't really have any data. Instead, it has a data model setup which uses call center data. So uh, we will go ahead and insert a pivot table and then um, we will use the data model obviously. And here in from the data model when we create the pivot table we will understand how conditional formatting can be applied on it. Now we as, as you may know Excel does have conditional formatting feature and we normally apply that on regular data sets. So you could highlight uh, the top 10 values or you can highlight any using data bars or whatever. But you can also apply conditional formatting on top of pivot tables. Uh, it is fairly simple but uh, sometimes it doesn't feel that obvious but once you do it you will understand and appreciate how good uh, your pivot tables will start to look. So let's go and add a, a pivot table that would uh, show me the information like number of calls by age. Uh, I think we do have age grouping. Let's use the age grouping uh, and, um, and then we will add a count of calls. So we will see how many calls are made. Now this is how the number of calls are coming and when you look at the number obviously you could make that that's a big one that's a small one but when you have quite a few items there it might be hard to see these things. For example that's the age group if I add maybe department in the column level we now have a lot of numbers so it's not apparent immediately what is the smallest and what is the largest number. So one way to highlight that kind of thing is you can apply conditional formatting for something like this with the two or three uh, dimensions that is age group and department. A good uh, approach is you can select any number, go to conditional formatting and apply a color scale. So for example, you know, green to white or um, yellow to green or something like that. Let's just pick something like that. So when you do it initially, because we have only selected a single cell, the conditional formatting will be applied only to that cell. But as soon as you do that inside a pivot table, you will see this little uh, interesting looking icon right next to it and you can point your that and then you can apply the formatting to all the cells. So you would say usually in this case it's best to select the last option that means all cells showing count of cell count of call values for age grouping and department. You might think what is the difference between the second and third option. I'll show you that when you select the second option, it will apply the formatting including the grand totals. Now this is not useful for a measure like this because here we are counting the calls. So this is going to be grand total, but uh, that might be useful when you are using other types of things like averages or median because then um, the value is not total of all of those averages it is the average of the actual net and you can use that whereas a third option would limit the highlighting to this and in this case our coloring is green means low and yellow means high so this is how that would look and uh, conditional formatting is attached to this pivot table so that means if you were pivot table layout changes for example uh, if you were to add a representative in the middle, oh, I think, uh, yeah, now it's not going to be there. That's, uh, you might think, why is it not there? Um, even I assumed naively that it would work. It's, it's not really there because the formatting has been applied in such a way that it is only looking for combinations of age group and department but this has another level so that's why it's not there um, but uh, you know if you change this layout in any way it would still be there so that's uh, that's the beauty of it so we are not really applying the conditional formatting to b140 to f141 instead we are applying to that pivot table with those combinations so that's that uh, we will come back like this and uh, um and that's that's that uh, calls now i will show you a few more tricks that i normally use with 
conditional formatting for pivot tables um, you can apply pretty much anything uh, one of my favorites is for example uh, we could uh, show some number and conditional formatting to enhance that number representation for example let's just take um, by gender and by age uh, how many calls are coming in and uh, we will add um, count of calls so this will give you a breakdown by gender and then uh, what we could do is uh, for the purpose of this analysis we will only keep male and female uh, we will remove the un unknown gender value and then uh, we will also quickly remove any grand total so we are looking at just the data part of by age like how many calls are coming by gender by age only for female and male gender now here uh, this is very good representation of data but it doesn't really give you a full picture of what kind of uh, pattern is exhibited by age and gender of course a better option would be to make a chart but let's just say you want to use pivot table um, then you can apply conditional formatting data bar uh, and you can extend this to like that and it will give you two bars now because data bars are attached to the cell uh, they will be as wide as the cell so even though 144 uh, for example let's take something where uh, yeah this is a good example 40 is less than 156 but these two bars look same length mainly because 40 is represented out of this width and 156 is represented out of that width so whenever you use data bars it's a good idea to have them same width of columns so just multi-select and resize them and then that will give you that now this is a good thing but what if you wanted to uh, have a uh, um, a, a, a different representation like for example female bars should go in this direction or in a different color now that kind of thing is not very easy to do with conditional formatting uh, for pivot tables if you go to manage rules you will see that this rule is uh, although it, it does say 158 it's kind of really applied to uh, all the values of age and gender so it doesn't really say whether it is doing in b column or c column one cheeky little way to avoid that is we can switch it back to selected cells and then select the um, range it's best to clear it out and, and just select this range like this and then uh, you can change this bar direction to for example instead of left to right we can do it right to left so the bar is going this way and we can color it uh, in, in that and when you apply you now have female bars going in this direction and we could do a new rule which will do the male bars um, and this is going to be c158 to c204 so they're no longer attached to the pivot table they are attached to the cell addresses and uh, and then uh, we will have to use data bars I'm a bit rusty here. I wonder, like, I think it's mainly because of the way this is working. And apply and click OK. So, this is going to give you that. Now, keep in mind whenever you are using this approach of delinking the conditional formatting from pivot tables, is that it will, um, it will, it will still try to apply that formatting to only that range, even if the layout is not correct. So that's how you can do a gender and age based number of calls using different colored bars going in different directions. Let me just show you one more trick and then we will wrap up the session on conditional formatting. For this, I will add a new worksheet, uh, this uh, CF demo. And here I will insert a pivot table um, in the thing. And we will, for example, uh, let's go to department so in each department by each rep i want to see how many <coughs> uh, what is the count of calls and then what is the amount per call so this will show up like that now <coughs> what i want to do is i want to show count of call and then amount of call right underneath so we will take this and uh, move it like this so that will come up uh, like that and maybe uh, there is no point moving it uh, like this because some reps only work in one department so we would leave it uh, uh, like this it does look a bit clumsy but uh, it would be 
easier if I change this layout into a tabular format, repeat the labels and uh, remove grand totals and subtotals. So we get this format. Now, what I want to do is I want to apply the conditional formatting only for amount per call. So we'll select one of the amount per calls and we will apply a data bar uh, to that. We will just select something like this and we will say uh, all the reps. So it will give you a scaling like that. And uh, we can then uh, go and add uh, some sort of a slicer on, uh, for example, education qualifications. Uh, I keep forgetting that this pivot table layout keep changing. So we'll out, undo the auto fit column bits thingy. And uh, now it does have the number of calls at this. And uh, we could go into some of these individual areas where there is a little bit of variation happening. Uh, let's say for the sake of reporting, we only care about count of calls. We want to show amount per call as an extra thing, but just as a bar, we don't really want to show the number. So the first thing is we will go and edit the that rule, double click, and here we will tick show bar only so that we'll remove the number so there is a bar. The second thing is this bar is too wide. We want just that to be kind of a really small size. So we will we will have to multi-select all these rows using control. You can just click on the row number and it will multi-select and uh, just adjust the width to maybe you know nine pixels or something like that. And uh, once this is there, we can clear up this and where it says amount per call it does still look that so uh, this is not really like that so we will just select that cell and type a space and that will kind of remove that um, even these rep numbers are being repeated we will see if there is a way to uh, yeah I think that will do and uh, finally we will uh, change this layout of the pivot table into something a little more uh, simpler I think that will do and now we have an interesting pivot table representation that will show both uh, count of calls and a bar indicating uh, how many uh, what is the amount per call so you could kind of immediately show that i mean this won't be apparent unless you have proper legend added explaining what is what but uh, this is another technique that you can use uh, for this kind of things or uh, some other types of data i will provide a an extra resource on how to make a, an interactive calendar using this approach with conditional formatting in pivot tables in the resources section for this video do check that out as well for some more inspiration thank you so much for watching this video uh, I hope you found it interesting and useful. I'll talk to you again in the next one. Bye-bye.